Hello, my name is Adrian Dunham, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about what Creative Commons is, how it got started, and what it has become as of today. The fundamental tension the creators were trying to resolve began with the internet. As we know, the internet has given us the opportunity to access, share, and collaborate on human creations at an unprecedented scale. The sharing capabilities made possible by digital technologies are in tension with the sharing restrictions embedded within copyright laws around the world. Creative Commons was created to help address the tension between creators' ability to share digital works globally and copyright regulation. The Sonny Bono Copyright Term Extension Act, or CTEA, was legislation enacted in 1998 and extended the term of copyright for every work in the United States, even those already published, for an additional 20 years. So the copyright term equaled the life of the creator plus 70 years. CTEA was commonly referred to as the Mickey Mouse Protection Act because the extension came just before the original Mickey Mouse cartoon Steamboat Willie would have fallen into the public domain. Eldred v. Ashcroft The case known as Eldred v. Ashcroft went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court and challenged the constitutionality of the Copyright Term Extension Act. Unfortunately, the Supreme Court case was lost by Eldred in 2003 and the CTEA established in 1998 was upheld. However, this promoted awareness of copyright terms and paved the way for a movement that has yet to reach its full potential, Creative Commons. The Creative Commons organization is a nonprofit organization, a global network, and a movement that works to increase the amount of creativity available in the Commons' body of work that is available to the public for free and legal sharing repurposing and remixing worldwide. Creative Commons achieves this by offering legal and technical tools to facilitate sharing and discovery of creative works. As a creator or author, what Creative Commons tries to accomplish with its licenses is to let you easily change your copyright terms from all rights reserved to some rights reserved using conditions of your choosing that allow the public to share and use your creative work while reserving some rights for yourself. A Creative Commons license lets you decide which rights you'd like to keep, and it clearly conveys to those using your work how they are permitted to use it without asking you in advance. As the user, consumer, or remixer, what Creative Commons licenses tries to accomplish is to allow you to look for the content that you can use freely and legally within the conditions that the creator or author has chosen. These licenses define how you can use the material. There are hundreds of millions of works from songs and videos to scientific and academic material available for free and legal use under the terms of Creative Commons licenses with more being added every day. There are four features or conditions that define Creative Commons licensing. Attribution. All Creative Commons licenses require that others who use your work in any way must give you credit the way you request, but not in a way that suggests you endorse them or their use. If they want to use your work without giving you credit or for endorsement purposes, they must get your permission first. Share alike. You let others copy, distribute, display, perform, and modify your work, as long as they distribute any modified work on the same terms. If they want to distribute modified works under other terms, they must get your permission first. No derivatives. You let others copy, distribute, display, and perform only original copies of your work. If they want to modify your work, they must get your permission first. 
non-commercial. You let others copy, distribute, display, perform, and unless you have chosen no derivatives, modify and use your work for any purpose other than commercially, unless they get your permission first. Licenses. Based on these features or conditions, you will get a license that clearly indicates how other people may use your work, or that will indicate how you can legally use the work you've found. The Global Affiliate Network, Creative Commons, is described on the Creative Commons website as including over 500 researchers, activists, legal education, and policy advocates and volunteers who serve as Creative Commons representatives in over 85 countries. These global personalities, alongside non-governmental institutions, universities, public agencies, and Creative Commons affiliates employ region-specific approaches to copyright and intellectual property that help solve local and global challenges. Today, there are 1.4 billion Creative Commons licensed works out there. You can unlock the potential and explore over 1.4 billion Creative Commons licensed resources to date. These works include literary works, videos, photos, audio files, open education, scientific research, and more. You can share your work and help expand the global commons even further.